C-Sources 2 is a jailbreak app that allows you to manage, backup, and restore repos separately from Cydia. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. We are talking about C-Sources 2. As mentioned, this is a jailbreak app that allows you to manage Cydia repos separately from Cydia. And this has some distinct advantages, namely that you can individually toggle on or off certain repos at will. Uh, you can also back up all of your repos so that you can easily restore them. You see, I have a lot of Cydia repos right now in the Cydia app, uh, but I can't really manage those individually. If I wanna remove one or just disable one temporarily, I have to actually completely delete it. And of course that can be tedious. You have to actually remember long repo URLs and things like that. But C sources two takes all the thought out of the equation because it allows you to manage these repos separately and you can turn them on or off and they will turn on or off within the Cydia app. So you see here a list of all my repos right now. Those repos that you saw earlier in Cydia were actually uh, from C sources two. So you can see most of the repos are toggled on. Some of them are toggled off. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to disable a repo without actually deleting it from Cydia. So you see Ryan Petrich's beta repo there, and you see it listed here in C sources. So all I need to do is to flip this switch just like that, and then tap the apply button in the upper left hand corner to apply the changes just like this. And then tap apply again to confirm. So now it's creating some backup files. And once that is complete, all you need to do is tap the close button. All right, so now let's open up the app switcher. I'm gonna kill Cydia. So we get a, a, fresh, a fresh look at Cydia here. So let's launch it. And we should not see Ryan Petrich's beta repo and we don't. It's gonna reload data and it does. And you can see folks, Ryan Petrich's beta repo is nowhere to be found. Uh, so we've basically toggled it off using C sources too. Now, a developer, Poom Smart, graciously is allowing us to use his repo as an example. So in Twitter, he pasted his repo here. So I'm just gonna copy the link to his repo right here. And I'm gonna head over to C sources and I'm going to add that beta repo. So just tap the plus sign in the upper left hand corner and then I'm just gonna paste it in just like that. Now tap add it. Now it adds Poom Smart's repo, close it. And now you can actually tap on his repo to get some more information. And you can also type handy notes in here. So if you've ever had a repo, you didn't know why you added it, well this is handy, you can add notes and lend yourself a friendly reminder. So now let's just toggle on Poom Smart's repo and tap the apply button in the upper left hand corner. Tap apply again to confirm and the changes have successfully been applied. So now let's tap close. Now let's open up the app switcher, kill Cydia again. And we're just gonna open Cydia back up and guess what we're gonna see? Bam. Poom Smart's beta repo. I'm gonna to need to refresh to load in all the packages. You see I refreshed and there we go folks. It's that easy. Isn't this so much better than the old way? Like going in and actually deleting sources that stop working or that you don't want to appear. That's the old way to do it. This is the new way to do it. C sources too. Now if you tap the little info button in the bottom right hand corner, you can actually gain more insight into, into the way this tweak works. You can back up or you can restore your backups if you wanna do that. So here's a backup. And you can restore via iCloud and iTunes. So my backup is successful. So it just gives you some peace of mind. In the future, you can just bring all of your repos back. You don't have to remember them all or take screenshots and tediously type them in. Folks, it is C-Sources 2, $1.99 on the Big Boss repo and totally worth it. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.